Alright guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be discussing how to basically create our own window and door schedules as well as our electrical legends. Um, we may not actually create them all in this video, but the process is very similar for all of those. Um, but I guess uh, let's go ahead and dive right into it. And the first thing we're going to do is actually take a look at the window and door schedules that were already created for us in this ARCHICAD 26 built-in template. So if you head over to your layout book and you scroll down to your do doors and windows folder, so that's, that's A6 dash doors and windows, you'll have your door and window schedule and your door and window details. Um, so let's go ahead and have a look at both of those. Let's click on this page. So this is what they currently look like. And um, I frankly am not really a fan of these either of these designs, to be honest. Um, you can see the uh, the room that they're located in, the ID, the room name. So you can do a lot of stuff with these. Um, if you like this, um, that's fine. Um, you can use it as is, or you can create your own. So you have a couple other things over here. For, um, it says jam detail undefined, sale detail undefined. Um, you can do a lot with these, um, and then you can leave remarks. Um, and then, but however, these are not actually editable here. So I can click on them and you can see that there are elements that are added on here. Um, but in order to actually open these, um, these views and edit them, um, what you can do is you can right click here and then click open source view. Um, or you can also go to, um, let me hit this drop down here. Um, you can also go to uh, the door schedule. So the door schedule, I believe, is located here in the views. And then head over to doors and windows um, A6. So this is really, it's it's kind of neat because it's like a one-to-one -one mapping, right? You have your folders that correspond to each other. and makes things easier to find. So let's go to uh, door legend, or actually it's the door schedule, not the door legend. Um, that's inserted there. But you can also have a look at these. Um, and then this is the door schedule that we were just looking at. And these are all of the um, options that were visible, right? So if you click on uh, the material, um, you can see that it's undefined, but there are some uh, there are some uh, predefined uh, options that we have here. So HM, uh, solid core wood, aluminum, glass. Um, you can you know choose whatever you like for you know, whatever applies in your particular case. And then it'll update in the layout. So let's, let me just, I'll give you an example. Let's say the first door is a solid core wood. Um, let's head over back to our layout book and then let's go to this layout. We can see here that this material updated to solid core wood. Now we're not gonna focus too much on these, but you can use this if you like. Um, I prefer something simpler and smaller. Um, so let's go ahead and have a look at how we create those. Um, so we're going to go to, um, I believe we need to go to the project map here. And then we are going to create, um, in order, instead of overriding the one we have here, just in case you guys want to use it, um, we can create our own. So let's go ahead and, uh, to create your own, it's a little, it's kind of weird. You don't really have the option to do a plus one, but um, I'm going to right click here and then I'm going to click, um, let me actually, let me double click here actually. Let me go here and then we're going to go ahead and hit new schedule. And then we're going to, I don't know, you can give this an ID or you can't or you cannot. It's up to you. Um, I'm not going to give it an ID. I'm just going to duplicate the door schedule. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just do a new scheme. Um, and then we want to do a new scheme for elements. And let's call it new door schedule. Okay. Um, and now, um, we have that uh, here, right? And I'm just gonna hit okay right now. There's not gonna be anything in it, um, but let's go here. Oh, huh. it doesn't look like it created. Wait, did it? Let me see, new, oh, there it is, down here. So it's down here, so it's this door schedule. Um, so now we can see that it's blank, all right? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the scheme settings and we are going to, um, basically figure out what um, <clears throat> what elements we want. So for doors, I, I just clicked on this door legend element, um, or I'm sorry, 
uh, yeah, I guess this list. And it's basically just giving you all of the options that are in the uh, Dora Legend um, scheme, which is this one right here. Um, however, we don't um, we don't want to look at that. We want to um, specify that we have a that we only want doors here. Okay, so let's say uh, we're going to go to here. So this first row is by default going to be there. So I'm going to go ahead and click door. And then what do we want? So th these are the objects that are going to be um, basically pulled. Or information is going to be pulled from these types of obje objects only. So that's what we're saying is that criteria. And then we're going to add fields. So our, our table has several fields. You can think of these as the rows and or columns. For us, we're going to use them as, uh, I believe, columns. And then the, uh, the actual details of the elements of the doors are going to uh, populate in rows okay so let's go ahead and go to add fields and then we're going to click parameters and properties and then we're going to hit um, so for window we're going to hit the little drop down for window slash door and then we're going to have the nominal width by height size so we want to have that for sure right and then we want to have of course the id so the um right the window id or the door id um, so let's go to um, ID, element ID. Um, oh, there it is, element ID. Um, and then what else might we want? Material maybe, let's search material. Um, and actually it might be easier to just go back to our window door. And then let's, let's kind of have a look at these, which ones might we want. So you can put the sill header value, um, you can look at the view from the opening side um, to kind of give you like an elevation view of the window, like a preview of it. Um, let's look at, you can, there's a bunch of other things you can do here, surface area and whatnot. Those things might be useful, um, you know, when you're doing your Title 24s and whatnot um, for a glazing area. Um, let's see, what else? So let me, let me add that one and then what else? What, what are we missing? We're missing the material for sure. That's one thing. Let me, I guess let me just search material. Material. And then we should have... Hmm. Well, I guess openings. There we go. Door frame material. No, that's not what we want. Um, hmm. Okay. I'm not seeing it here. I guess let's just... Let me click on this one. I'm not sure if this one will be the one that we want, but let's just say that one. All right, yeah, let's just say that one for now. Okay, so now I've added a bunch of these fields and these are gonna be our columns, our column, uh, or basically our table title, our subtitles, right? These column values, so nominal width and height, size, element ID, and then you've got these previews here. Now, the thing with the previews is they are not actually, um, how do you say this? They're not, they don't fit, right? Um, so let's let's go ahead and fix a couple things. Um, and by the way, you can adjust how you want the table to look. If you want these uh, columns to be on the left, I believe, you, yeah, you just adjust by clicking this option over here. And if you want them to be on the top, you click that. Um, and then let's let's go ahead and change the font size. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this five font. I'm sorry, five point font, and what else? I want the, so I want these other um, these uh, windows, these previews, to actually show up um, and like fit inside of the um, inside of the uh, table. So I'm gonna let's see, huh? That's not working. Oh yeah, I did. There we go. Okay, just take a second. Um, so it's it's adjusted that. Uh, Usually you'll want to see this um, in the window schedule, um, not necessarily the door schedule, but I just put it in here so you guys can see what you can do with it. And then let's change the um, row heights to 0.5 inches to make it a little bit bigger, um, give us a little bit more space. And then let's see what, so let's see what we have here in the category. So I think for category, we had building materials. Um, oh, so yeah, it doesn't really give us an option set here. So we'll, we'll want to change that. Let me kind of zoom out here to just a hundred percent so we can see the whole table. Um, and then you can kind of center these. So these line items are, um, they're adjusted to the left or they're justified right. 
I'm sorry, left. And we want them to go to the center. We just click center. Same with these. And now let's say I want to switch the um, width by height size uh, column with the element ID column. What I'll do is I'll just go back into the scheme settings. And there might be another way of doing this, but this is how I usually do it. And I just click and drag that one up above it. And it should come first now. Okay. Um, and then you can rename this just door schedule here. Um, and it'll rename the uh, this uh, title, the table title. And it, it won't actually rename it over here, which is okay, because um, we just want we wanted this one to be differentiated from this one. Um, and uh, now we can go ahead and insert it. Usually you'll want to insert these in your the sheets where you have the floor plans um, and or elevations, uh, but it's, it's really up to you, I guess. In this, in this template, um, we have it in a separate, a completely separate uh, sheet, which I, I kind of don't like that, but um, anyway. Let's go ahead and take this new door schedule and we're going to put it into our floor plans. Um, so we are missing a couple of things like the materials and stuff, um, but we can, we can always go in and add that later. So let's go to, um, so I want to insert this into my floor plan layout, floor plan. So this one, so I'm going to go ahead and find that um, new door schedule and then I'm just going to insert it here. Now let's go to this sheet and um, close that. And it should be there somewhere. Let's see. Did I not do this right? Hmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, so it didn't show up there. That's interesting. Let's try that again. So another way you can drag it in is if you just go back here to your project map. And then you just drag it like so. And there we have it. Um, so the way it's dragging this in um, is it's showing the, um, I guess the ID, new door schedule. We don't actually want that title, so in order to get rid of that, you can hit Command T, or you can just go up at the t uh, the bottom toolbar, not the topmost toolbar, but the one underneath it, and just go to the right until you see Title Type, and then hit No Title, and it'll remove that title for us. And um, we have that in our sheet, uh, that door schedule. Um, and here's another. Another thing, well, oh, I know I'm, real, I'm realizing now that I'm missing the dimensions there, but um, I'm just trying to show you guys the, like in, kind of like an overview of uh, the software. Um, it's, uh, <clears throat> you can do a lot with it, and I'm trying to get through uh, sort of like the workflow, I guess, if you're, you know, opening this up for the first time, trying to learn the software. Um, so here's the door schedule. Um, now let's let's go ahead and open the source view. So we're gonna right click here, and then we're gonna go to source view. And then let's see if we can figure out what um, what uh, we can replace this category with. Because we want to be able to specify whether it's that solid core or um, hollow core and whatnot in materials, right? So um, let's see if we can find it here somewhere. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just search material, material, color scheme, finish, description. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure which options they're using. You can also create your own uh, materials and your own uh, sort of field here for uh, materials, I guess. And it will, you'll be able to use it. Um, you know whatever whatever it is you, that's specific to your needs um, and I'll cover that in a different video for now I can't find it so I'll just I'll just remove it but you usually you want notes about the materials uh, material specs um, things like that whether it's a hinged window or sliding window um, yeah so I'm not, I'm not really sure I'm not really sure what they have it as here but if you know please leave it in the comments um, that might be helpful to some folks uh, but yeah, uh, it's a similar process for creating a window schedule and also the um, electrical legend. Um, now, uh, sometimes this can get tricky if um, you have uh, like existing and new elements, but you only want your new elements to show in your door schedule or your window schedule or your electrical legend. 
Um, the way you can do that is um, you can specify the renovation status in the criteria. Um, so you can go here and then go to parameters and properties and then just search renovation status and then we can add that in there. And so there's a couple things that'll happen here. Um, so you can, first of all, specify whether you want this to be, um, wh whether, uh, you know, you want this to be, to include both of these things and so sort of narrow down your, um, your, your, you know, what you're getting as your results in your rows. Um, so let's say sometimes you want it to be only new elements and you would select new and you would select that it has to meet both of these criteria, right? That it's a door and its renovation status is new. However, if you put or here, um, it's going to list items that are uh, either doors or um, objects that are new. And so all of our objects are going to be new. So we're going to see that this is actually going to maybe break our table. So let's see. Yeah, so we've got a bunch of elements here, right? Light switches, windows, but we don't want that. So I'm going to remove that because this, this is only supposed to be a door schedule, right? So I'm going to click that. I'm just going to click remove. Um, you can kind of mess with this uh, fairly easily. Um, it's it, it can be tricky at times, but um, you know it gets it gets easier over time. And usually, when you make these, uh, you'll specify the rules maybe once or twice, you know, as you're you're working, and then you just save that into your template, and it's good to go to the next round. Um, if you guys want to see a video on how to make your own templates, um, leave a comment in the description, and I'll. Uh, make make one of those as soon as uh, as soon as I see some comments um, about it and uh, yeah um, that's all for now um, but I'll see you guys in the next one I hope this was helpful.